Take any more Bane. What'd he do? He exists. Do me a favor. Come back in a few hours when you're awake, and if you're even half as angry, then I will deal with you. Deal with me? Listen, we've both known Bane for a really long time. And we both know what a pain he can be, but he is our friend, for better or for worse. I mean, come on, you can't honestly sit there and tell him you've never had any fun with him. <laughs> well, it can be tolerable when it wants something from you. Oh man, did we hit it hard last night or what? We were down on Maine drinking until like 2 in the morning. This dude was ready to call it quits. But these ladies that have been macking on me all night invited us back to their place for an after party. The blonde was smoking from top to bottom. Her friend had a face that could cut through steel, but had the body to make up for it. Snap! And were they aching for it? It was all in the bag. What's it? Listen, I was too busy with the blonde to baby step you through getting laid. Go fuck yourself! No, I believe that's what the blonde was for. Oh, snap. Fine. You can fly solo from now on. Why do you have to get him so worked up? It's not my fault he's a tight ass. Do you want to hear what really happened? So while he was at the John at the girls' place, I let slip the story of the time we were drunk and broke into the petting zoo and rode those goats around. No! Yeah. I still have the picture of Sam, nude. Riding his goat in my wallet. Why would you tell that story? Well, the picture isn't very flattering on its own. It looks like he's riding it in another sense. I had to set him straight. And did you? How was I supposed to know that the girl was a card-carrying member of PETA? I don't... Listen, I think you went a little too hard on him this time. Just back off a little bit till he cools off. Yeah. Whatever. I'll think about it while I'm dropping Duker. Look, I, I had to talk with him. Yeah, I heard everything. Everything? I wonder how many times this has been going on without me knowing. Look, there's no point dwelling on it. How many times is this going to happen again if I let it continue? Relax, man. You didn't get laid. Big deal. What about tomorrow? I mean, is it going to cost me money, my, my job, my health? This thing has been going on way too long. It doesn't deserve to live with us. No. It doesn't deserve to live. Period. What are you talking about? It, besides, the whole situation is kind of shaded gray, don't you think? What? He hasn't done anything you haven't done at some point. Don't you dare compare me to it. That thing has no ground on me. It isn't even human. It's not an animal. A, a dog has more rights than it does. I've never met a dog that could talk and think. It does not think. It's not even alive. It's, 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 it's a disposable rag doll past its prime. What does that mean? I think I'm going to do away with it. Permanently. How are you going to kill something that you claim isn't even alive? This isn't your dog you just take out in the backyard and shoot. Oh, there are ways. You were completely full of it. And I'm not going to sit here and listen to your pointless ravings anymore because I know you're not going to do anything about it. Oh, fine. Well, just walk away. Ignore, ignore the world around you. I know you really want this to happen just as much as I do, even though you don't have the courage to say it. Yeah, I'm doing this for the both of us. Oh yes, my knight in shiny armor. Sam, 
Listen, I just wanted to say that I've been thinking about things. And? Well, I was thinking and realized that maybe, well, we're bros and all. I haven't had your back all the time. We should, uh, look out for one another's best interest and stuff. Yeah? Yeah. Instead of cock blocking you and getting you all worked up. I mean, instead of letting you down time and time again as a friend, well, maybe we should spend some time apart. That could work. Good. I'm glad you're taking this well. I think Tyrone is looking for a place to live, and would totally be willing to sublease under you until you can move back home. I know you've been hurting financially. I've seen your bank statements. You what? And do. Not only would it help you get back on your feet, but it might also give you a chance to figure things out in your life. Recenter yourself and fix your flaws as a person. My, my flaws? You'll come out a better human being and people will be able to be around you. I really think it will be the best for everybody. Okay, dude? Good. I'll call Tyrone after breakfast. No, I don't think that'll be necessary. Dude. I think I'm gonna do away with it. Permanently. No. No. No! Oh, there are ways. Nothing to eat? Nope. I lost my appetite. You really don't look well. Well, I'm alright. You sure? I'm fine! I just have a lot on my mind. Is it Bane? What? Are you worried about him? Because I'm sure he's fine. Yeah. You know, he's been independent of us for quite a while. He doesn't rely on us like he used to. No, he, he doesn't. He must have hit it off really well with those chicks you guys met at the bars. <laughs> Wish I could be in Cancun. You say when he's coming back? Do you remember when we first found him? Yeah. Oh yeah, wasn't wasn't it in like seventh grade or something? So what were we like? Twelve? Thirteen. I've been thinking a lot about those days. You know, you don't meet something like Bane very often. That's for sure. I thought it would be very useful having something like him around. You know, for a good time. Never thought it'd come to this, though. To want it. Nobody move! Bane! Oh my god! Surprised to see me, motherfuckers! Bane, what, what has happened to you? Don't act stupid. I was violated and tortured by two people I call my friends. You thought you had done me in, but I woke up in that dumpster you left me in. When I finally overcame the pain, I crawled out of that garbage bag and slowly recuperated by surviving off the trash around me. Bane, listen. You shut the fuck up! Look at me. Look at what you did. I don't understand. What are you doing with the gun? I said... Don't fucking move. He had nothing to do with this! No. Bullshit. You two are one in a life. I know you acted together on this. We're not! We didn't! Damn. It was just me. I did it alone. I don't want to hear it. Both are gonna die for what you tried to do to me. He had nothing to do with it! Let me get him help. Why did you do it? Tell me! He's dead. Monster! Pistol whip! You are a plague among people, Sam. 
No. You are spoiled. And only look to benefit yourself. You're no better. You had the power to help him. Trevor? He always looked up to you. If you had the patience and took the proper care, he would have listened. Trevor, I'm sorry. Trevor is gone. You can't help him. I just want to be happy again. And in what would you find happiness, Sam? What do you have to show for your life but failed attempts at all personal relationships? You had many opportunities to change course, but instead you only dug deeper. Whatever problems I had, you made them a scapegoat to your own. You cannot save anyone when you are lost yourself. Let me go home. Home is where the heart is. And look what you have done to it. You told me that it did not deserve to live. It doesn't deserve to live. What do you mean by it? May God have mercy on us all. Amen. Ready to test your faith? Trevor? Help me! He's gone. What about you? I will be judged in my own time, but not by you. It is out of my hands. May God have 